welcome back to my channel let's find the value of x in this tricky math question okay um first of all let's represent it as six plus two so we have x to the power of six plus two minus x to the power of two divided by x to the power of four minus x to the power of two okay and um, this is equal to nine so let's change four to two plus two as well two plus two all right now recall that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n okay so that simply means that we can rewrite this as x to the power of 6 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2. And this is equal to 9. Now, um, let's factorize. Factorize. So if we factorize, we will have, bring out x to the power of 2, since that is what they have in common. So we have x squared bracket. When this is divided by this, x to the power of 6 will remain. Minus when this is divided by this, 1 will remain. Divided by, here, let's bring out x to the power of 2 as well. When this is divided by this, x to the power of 2 will remain. Minus when this is divided by itself, 1 will remain, is equal to 9. Now, this we divide itself, so we have x to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by x to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to 9. Please hit the subscription button, turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and uh, tune in at your convenience. Yes, there must be something for you to watch. Thank you so much, by the grace of God. Now, let us continue. 6 is the same thing as 2 multiplied by 3, right? So, we can write x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 2 multiplied by 3, okay? Minus 1 divided by x to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to 9, okay? So, recall that a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n. All right? So that means that we can solve this or we'll write this as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 divided by x raised to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to 9. Okay, now we can write 1 as 1 to the power of 3 as well. So this can be written as 1 to the power of 3 as well. Alright, now we have this. Remember that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, now in this case, our a is equal to x to the power of 2 and our b is equal to 1. So we are going to write this in this form. Permit me to clean this side of the board. So moving forward, moving forward, we have that. What we are going to write now is we have a minus b, that is x squared minus 1, okay? x squared minus 1, bracket a squared, that is x squared all squared, plus ab, that is x squared times 1, plus x squared multiplied by 1, plus b squared, that is 1 squared, okay? divided by, then what we have is x squared minus 2, right? x squared minus 1, sorry, is equal to 9. 
Okay, now we have x squared minus 1, x squared minus 1. So this one goes. Then what we have left is x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 plus x squared times 1 is x squared plus 1 is equal to 9. Now let's transfer this to the other side of the equation. So we have x squared all squared plus x squared plus 1 minus 9 is equal to 0. Hope you are subscribed to our channel. If you have not, please do that because I wouldn't like to miss you in our next video. Okay? So please subscribe and turn on your notification bell as well. Now we are going to have x squared all squared plus x squared plus 1 minus 9 is minus 8, right? Minus 8 um, is equal to 0. Now we have x squared, we have x squared, right? We can see let x squared be something, all right? So let x squared be equal to y, right? That means that this equation becomes y squared plus y minus 8 equals 0. Now that means our a is 1, our b is 1, and our c is negative 8, right? a is 1, coefficient of y squared, b is 1, coefficient of y, and c is negative 8, are constant. So using quadratic equation formula, we will have that y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So we'll have y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by negative 8. Okay, everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So, moving forward, we will have that our y, moving forward, we will have that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus minus is plus and 4 times 8 is 32. Okay divided by 2. So we have y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 33 divided by 2. So this simply means that we have two values for our y. Okay, so we have two values for our y. So the two values are so it simply means that y is equal to negative 1 plus root 33 divided by 2, which can be written as root 33 minus 1 divided by 2. And we also have that y is equal to negative 1 minus root 33. So minus 1 minus root 33 divided by 2. Okay. Now, but we're not looking for the value of y. Remember, we are looking for the value of x. Let me fill ink. So we have, remember, recall that y is equal to x squared. Right? I'm sorry I've claimed that, but that is what we referred or we assigned y to. y equals x squared. So that means we can write this as x squared is equal to the square root of 33 minus 1 divided by 2. So let's take square root of both sides. So this means that square root of x squared equals the square root of root 33 minus 1 divided by 2. So I will write this here. 
1 equals minus 1 minus 3 divided by 2. I'll come back to that. So for now, let's use that place to complete this one. So when you remove this, we now have that x is equal to plus or minus square root of root 33 minus 1 divided by 2. Now this is the first set of equation, the first set of solutions for our x, all right? Now, when y, permit me to clean this. Now, when y, now, when y is equal to, is equal to, I copied it here, minus 1 minus, root 33 divided by 2. When y is equal to minus 1 minus root 33 divided by 2, then we have that x squared since our y is x squared. So x squared is equal to negative 1 minus root 33 divided by 2. So we can write x squared to be equal to, let's factorize this minus 1. And then what we are going to have here is what? 1 minus, okay, plus root 33 divided by 2. Okay? If you open brackets, you are still going to get the same thing. So we can write that x squared is equal to minus 1 bracket root 33 plus 1 divided by 2. Now, let's take square root of both sides. If we do that, we have square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 1 bracket, negative 1 bracket root 33 plus 1, okay, divided by 2. All right. Now, moving forward, I don't know why this ink dries up fast. So, moving forward, we can rewrite this as square root. Okay, let's remove this and this. We have, we have x is equal to, then this will be square root of negative 1. Let's bring it out. Square root of negative 1. Then square root of, it's going to be plus or minus, right? It's going to be plus or minus. All right. Then we have root 33 minus 1, okay, plus 1, divided by 2. So with that, we will have that our x is equal to root negative 1 is i, right? So let's leave it at the back. Let's take plus this. So we have plus the square root of root 33 plus 1 divided by 2. The square root of negative 1 is i. And x is also equal to the negative of the square root of root 33 plus 1 divided by 2i. So the positive and the negative values of the right-hand side. Thank you for watching. Anne.